it, this uh, to tutorial is, is uh, basically to give you a coaching to how to use a pinion, uh, pinion gear remover. Uh, first of all, before you do anything, you always inspect uh, the pinion gear, what kind of pinion gear you had. There is like a, on market, there is at least a six or seven uh, different type of uh, pinion gear. And uh, the one I had it in hand is basic conventional uh, TM uh, or Sistema designed uh, pinion gear, which is like a f it's a D type uh, pinion gear, and then it's like a, one of those a uh, flat cut on the bottom. And I just, I, as you know, on the market these days, there are so many different different type of pinion gear. Um, even though Sistema, these one are based on the Sistema design, and on GNG they got their own like a oval type of um, pinion gear, which is you need a specific type of um, a, a removing bracket to remove them. So. The one right here is uh, designed for the conventional um, TM, Sistema, and or VFC uh, pinning remover. And however, as you know, some of the pin pinning gear they are not able to remove because of um, by the time the manufacturer like tini pinning gear, tinny gear, and the pinning gear they all like uh, using the uh, chemical to basically bond it with the uh, coax. So basically, it's almost a like possible to remove unless you had a hydraulic machine to basically push a pinion gear out. But if it's like a, something a low cost, low budget to remove it, this is it. That is one of the pinion gear tools that, that we had. So first of all, before we uh, remove pinion gear, you have to remove the set screw from the uh, pinion gear. Once the set screw is removed, then you have to adjust the uh, tools to the proper position like this one already pre preset it for this motor so what I do is I place a motor place a motor to the pinion gear remover and then on the back right here let me get a pointer so you could see it better on the back of the uh, this like a needles right there is it directly contacted the axles of the motor so this one right now is a slightly too high. So what I do is I slightly, slightly drop it, drop it to the point. My pinion gear is contact to the choking point right here. So my pinion gear will be set perfectly on it. Next is I'm going to move move my uh, top axe. To the proper uh, position to the coax of a pinion gear. So you got to align it to axle to the top here too. Once you align it, you move a little bit. Show the bottom, please. Yeah, the bottom. Oh, also, you could use uh, this two place right here to stabilize the motor. Make sure the connector they are. Show the bottom if you don't mind. Yeah, the bottom will always this uh, needle, needle pins always contact to the axle. All right, I just yeah. need to show. It. Yeah, contact like that. Yeah, con right, it's always good. contact. Thank you. So just uh, slightly move a little bit. Here, move a little bit. What about the top? Can you show uh, the top? Yeah. Yeah, the top, you can see it. 
this needle is here is actually pushing the uh, pushing the axle. Okay. So, Thank you. Normally, I don't use these two plates because as long as uh, the the magnetic field they are not strong, they're okay. But once you're strong, you have to set these two um, stabilizer plates on it. I think we're almost there. Yeah, so there we go. There we go. Can you remove it? So then you open this one up and remove the pinion. And that's it. Okay, okay, thank you.